Hello brothers and sisters, we're going to go over some features of the Watchtower Library and this is to help those who are unfamiliar with the features. We're going to just uh, do an overview in this first video of the main Watchtower Library window. This is the window that comes up when you first load the program and we're going to just uh, cover this. This is the title bar. You notice it says text for Sunday, Saturday, August 4th, 2012, Watchtower Library 2012 edition. So it's telling you where you're at and uh, it also shows uh, what edition you're in in case somebody asks you what Watchtower Library version do you have well there you go this is the 2011 edition the next line here is called the menu uh, the menu bar and you notice I just clicked on library uh, if you just hover over these you see a little box appear but there's a total of six different menus each has a various purpose below that is what we call the entry box area this is where you do your search, you can enter scriptures, you can also enter references in here and we're going to spend some time in the next video on this search. This is where everything uh, comes together. Next to the search or entry box is a drop down arrow. You want to be aware, if you're not familiar with drop down arrows, uh, you want to be aware that they do exist in lots of places in Windows programs and they're kind of a little key indicator that there's more to the box than uh, what you see there. So. Um, if you notice there's one here next to this little magnifying glass it changes some things about the search we'll talk about those later there are also some here uh, on this uh, navigation area this is the back and the forward button and you also notice that when you hover over certain things you get some tip text it shows you a tip which tells you what the button's about and also you see with that um, a key shortcut so if you use the alternate plus the left arrow key it's the same as the back. That's the uh, left arrow on the keyboard. Alternate right arrow key is the same as the forward. And then there's a home. And you can use alternate plus the home key on your keyboard to get the same function. The home key brings you back to this page right here with the date text for today's date and the school schedule. There's a print button, multiple column, a text size button, and a synchronize. We're not going to focus a lot on these uh, in this series. We also have a the search option area which at this point just shows the all publications button um, it'll actually expand when we do a search and then here you have a list of the categories of publications Bible Insight Book, Publications Index, Watchtower Wake, Books, Yearbooks, Our Kingdom Ministry, Brochures, Booklets, Kingdom News, Tracks, and the Help. So that's a quick overview of the screen. You also will notice that uh, there's a colored text. There's black and there's also this uh, blue color. The blue color will indicate to you that there is actu uh, actually a link. In other words, it's a something you can click on with the mouse. And that will take you to another location. So if you notice, this says ES2, which is a publication, page 79, August. If I hover over that without even clicking on it, you see the little finger comes up, a uh, hand with a finger pointing on it. And then in the box that pops up, it'll sh it'll show you some of the text from that reference. And uh, that doesn't happen in every single case, but in most cases it does. Here's a scripture. If you just hover and wait a second, it comes up. Same with this. You get a reference for a watchtower. There's the title of the watchtower and so forth. So let's talk about that a little more. Uh, we're going to stop this video and start a new one and get into the search features.